Welcome to Fast Philosophy. This video summarises our Translating into Propositional Logic series. We began by noting some different terminology used to describe formal logic. Instead of propositions connected using sentence connectives, we have atomic formulas connected using the logical operators. And rather than arguments, we have sequence. Then we describe that the vocabulary of propositional logic includes atomic formulas and logical operators. Atomic formulas are individual propositions represented using sentence letters. The five logical operators are the tilde, which stands for not, the caret, which stands for and, the vel, which stands for or, the horseshoe, which stands for if then, and the triple bar, which stands for if and only if. Next, we describe the grammar of propositional logic, defining what it is to be well formed. Every atomic formula is well formed. Every negated formula is well formed if and only if there is a well formed formula immediately to the right of the tilde. And lastly, every formula containing a two place logical operator is well formed if and only if there is a well formed formula immediately to its left and immediately to its right. And there are no other well formed formulas. In describing the grammar of well-formed formulas, we also had to describe how to punctuate them. We use brackets as punctuation to ensure that our formulas are not ambiguous. We then talked about the punctuation of sequence, which remember are simply a formal way of writing arguments. Here we separate premises using commas, and we separate all of the premises from the conclusion using a turnstile. Having described the vocabulary, grammar and the punctuation of propositional logic, we were then ready to look at how to translate from natural language into beautiful formal language. We first looked at translating negated propositions, then at conjoined propositions, followed by an example of translating negation and conjunction. We looked at translating disjunctions, at conditionals and biconditionals into formal logic. This was followed by an example which used all five of those lovely logical operators. Lastly, we looked at translating arguments from standard form into sequence. 